principles of radiographic interpretation diagnosis a proper diagnosis can be achieved through detailed history good clinical examination correct radiographic interpretation and lab histopathology now what does interpretation means interpretation refers to an explanation of what is seen visualized on the radiograph diagnosis refers to the identification of disease by examination essential requirements for interpretation first is optimal viewing condition second is knowledge of what radiograph should look like third is knowledge of appearance of normal anatomic landmarks as well as variations of normal fourth is knowledge of radiographic appearance of pathological condition affecting the maxillofacial region here are some normal anatomic landmarks seen on radiograph of maxilla and mandible sequence of viewing a dental radiograph first is assess the periphery and corner of the image second is examine the bone pattern of maxilla and mandible third is examine the teeth and fourth is examine the alveolar process steps to analysis of intraosseous lesions first is localize the lesion second is evaluate the periphery and shape of the lesion third is assessing the internal structure of the lesion and fourth is evaluating the effects of lesion on the surrounding structures in localizing the lesion it can be either unilateral like central odontogenic fibroma or bilateral like a bilateral radicular cyst in evaluating the periphery and shape of the lesion it can have well defined borders like simple bone cyst and dentigerous cyst ill defined borders and scallop borders such as in osteomyelitis and odontogenic keratosis respectively next is assessing the internal structure it can be radiolucent such as in amyloblastoma or radio opaque such as in hypercementosis or mixed such as in trabecular bone commonly seen mixed lesion is fibrous dysplasia which gives orange peel appearance next thing evaluating the effect of lesion on surrounding structure such as displacement of teeth seen in dentigerous cyst here is the algorithm representing diagnostic process that follows evaluation of radiographic features of an abnormality now how to write a diagnostic imaging report the diagnostic imaging report for the following radiograph is this is an intraoral periapical radiograph the teeth seen are third quadrant 4 5 area of interest is third quadrant 6 the coronal portion shows ill defined radiolucency in 36 involving enamel dentin and pulp suggestive of severe dental caries radicular portion shows ill defined radiolucency in apical portion of mesial root of 36 with breakage in continuity of lamina dura suggestive of periapical abscess thank you for listening